ribbon off my eyes I'm exposed and it's no big surprise Don't you think I know exactly where I stand This world is forcing me to hold your hand Cause I'm just a girl very special guests with us tonight, so I'd like to introduce them. Um, it's me, um, Bobo Noblezada on the uh, vocals. Um, this is Zane Carney on guitar. <laughs> Rodney Bush on the piano, electric keys. Stephen Jackson Jr. on the drums. Hey, and Robinson Morris on the bass, of course. Oh, it's very exciting. Um, before we go on, is it possible to order a glass of H2O, please? From my throat. How's everyone feeling tonight? Oh my gosh, everyone looked so beautiful. You are in the front row. Oh, oh nice. Oh, it's just water. It's just water. <laughs> so I use just water, it's 100% spring water. I'm just kidding, this is, a not, this is not an ad. Um, so, uh, this is um, our final show for the Joe's Pub uh, residency, which Rodney and I have named our show Summer Lovin'. Um, not for any particular reason, that's okay, you don't need to get excited about that. Um, sometimes they ask for a title of a show and you know, you're under a lot of pressure and you just kind of say the first thing that comes to your mind. Um, but tonight I figured we would do something different than the last two shows we've done. Oh, did you see that? That was a magic trick, I'm amazing. <laughs> uh, but I figured let's do a show that 
is so different and so much fun. And I hope that everyone can go on the vibe with us because uh, when you're finishing a job of doing theater for five years, sometimes you want to sing stuff that's completely different, um, which is great. Aw, thanks everyone. Have any of you here seen the musical Hades Town? It's a great show. I had my last show on Sunday, which is a uh, very sad. However, you must go and see this new brilliant cast. Uh, Saleha Pfeiffer is Eurydice, Slay. Bitch can sing it down. I have Betty Who is Persephone and uh, Philip Boykin is Hades. It's just gonna be, it's, it's so amazing. But go and support if you can this, this final few weeks. Joel Blackman and Tom Hewitt are doing the roles for the last few weeks. So it's very exciting, a big change, big transition. So why not do songs that have nothing to do with that? Um, <laughs> speaking of musicals, there was a musical that I never ha got the opportunity to see because I was, I just didn't get the chance to. But Zayn actually played in it. And Zane's brother, oh yeah, remember that crazy, we're, we're talking about Gypsy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were the original, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you're Patty LaPote, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I never got the chance to see Spider-Man. However, uh, I see him every day. <laughs> um, however, oh, thanks Jordy, thanks so much. I uh, figured that it would be fun to do a certain song um, from my, one of my favorite albums. We will be doing a lot of 90s songs this evening. So if you don't know any of them, perhaps learn because they're the best. I love songs from the 90s. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be doing a bunch of songs from my childhood. So I hope you all enjoy. Oh, the fries are very good. Please enjoy the fries. And I'm sorry, if you're sitting in the front row, I might spit on you, but I hope I don't. But it's gonna be very exciting. So here we go. You think that we connect and the chemistry's correct. Your words rock right through my ear. I'm assuming I like what I hear. And now I'm stuck in the, the web you're spinning. You got me for your prey. Sorry, I'm not home right now. I'm walking in a spider web. So leave a message and I'll call you back. Intruding on what's mine And you're taking up my time Don't have the courage inside me To tell you please let me be Communication A telephonic invasion I'm planning my escape Sorry I'm not home right now I'm walking in a spider web So leave a message and I'll call Battle. 
interwebs, leave a message and I'll call you back. I'm walking in a spot of webs, so leave a message and I'll call you back. Oh, it's all your fault. No matter who calls, I gotta screen my phone call. It's all your fault. Hey, I'm walking in a spot of webs. Hey, you know what? And I'll call you back. Hey, I'm walking in this part of wheels. Leave a message and I'll call you back. Oh, it's all your fault. I scream my phone calls. No matter, matter, matter who calls, I gotta scream my phone calls. It's all your fault. You you all have heard of the, these this album, correct? Okay, just making sure because I'm sweating so much. I bought these pants from Urban Outfitters, and I feel like this should not be here because it looks like it looks like I have a full diaper on. And by full, I no, no. I just mean it's it's full sized, you know. Um. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know why, but for some reason, when I get nervous, I have, I just make like bathroom jokes. Where's Reeve sitting? Okay, as long as I know where you are. Okay, I feel better now. Um, how are y'all feeling? Oh, I hope we're all drinking. I hope we're all having a great time. I mean, no, no, no like pressure if you don't drink. I do not drink myself. Um, but I hope you're all having a good time. I just thought tonight would be fun. I mean, it's been such beautiful weather. But the, the horrible thing is, not, not to bring it down, but there's just so much happening in the world right now that is so horrendous and tragic. So um, if there's anything that we can do to, I mean, I don't know, not to be weird, but hold you while you're here. I mean, not physically, because it's the pandemic, but you know, spiritually and musically. Um, you can leave any, any stress you have here with us tonight, because we're having a good time. Um, great, I say that we keep going. I love this next song. Um, and I, I, tend, I tend to think that this song reminds me about how in the industry, or in the music, or also in just the performing arts industry, I feel like there's never quite a moment where, you, where I feel like it will, the industry will reward you for being perfect as you are. There's always like the next thing, the next thing. Yes, congratulations on that, but there's more, there's more. Um, and I love the lyrics in this next song because it reminds me that it is a never ending journey and it's all about the climb that you give yourself. And not to, the, to quote the great Andre de Shields, um, what is it, the bottom of a mountain is just the beginning of the next? Yes. Please watch his Tony speech. It was fantastic. Um, great. So this is The Climb. Thank you. to reaching the top Every step must be placed so that I don't fall off Looking down to see about how much higher I am Another cool wind blows through brushes my
Got a black magic woman. Got a black magic woman. I've got a black magic woman. Got me so blind I can't see that she's a black magic woman. She's trying to make the devil out of me. Don't turn your back on me, baby. Don't turn your back on me, baby. Hey, don't turn your back on me, baby. Turning my heart into stone. Don't turn your back on me, baby. I just can't leave you alone.
those colors. The streets are getting hotter. There was no water to put out the fire. Ni gota de esperanza. Si mira Maria on the corner. Thinking of ways to make it better. Then I looked up in the sky. Thinking of days of Possibly um, some MT, um, which is musical theater, and I will be more than happy to oblige. Um, I was obviously we were all very upset to hear about the passing of, of um, musical legend Tony Bennett, um, and I grew up listening to quite a lot of jazz, um, and I consider myself extremely lucky for that because I don't know I feel like jazz for me with the type of jazz I listened to growing up. It just felt so like it will hold any version of you. So if anything, I don't know, it just it felt really safe for me. My dad played it a lot. He plays alto sax. He went to Nikolov University to be a saxophone player. Um, so there was a lot of jazz playing at all times. But I felt like this song, I um, just wanted to add this in here because I loved Tony's version of this song. And I don't know, Joe's Pub is so iconic. It's hard to make set lists sometimes that I feel like everyone will like because you never know. But um, this is uh, The Way You Look Tonight. Yes, you're lovely. 
don't you ever change Keep that breath of star Don't you please arrange it Cause I love you And just the way you look back I mean I feel like anytime you walk like four blocks in New York now it's just like can I wear this is this fabric okay with getting drenched with my perspiration it's so disgusting in New York um I'm very excited um the band's gonna take a, a little five minute break do you want a stool Rob just cuz just cuz I'm Rodney and I are gonna be performing um, a quick soft shoe if anyone minds um, <laughs> Uh, uh, we'll be performing, we created this medley because we love doing medleys. Um, and Rodney and I have been doing, we've been doing cabarets together for 84 years. For such a long, honestly, almost so for 10. Right? 10? Am I grounding? When you were six? When I was six? <laughs> uh, wait. <laughs> Since 2017, earlier than that. Um, but we love doing medleys because we just think like, it's a very fun way to put all the songs we want to perform Let's together. Uh, let's do everything. Back. So we're going to be doing the musical theater anthology from musicals from A to M. I'm just kidding. Sorry. But we have... <laughs> What's A? Give me we, an A. We do have a medley. Um, and I just felt like these were all my, some of my favorite love songs in theater. So um, if you're here with someone special, if you're taking yourself out for a date. Um, my God, what are those? Chips and guac? I wish. I'll burp, but thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. <laughs> He's like, anyone? Chips and guac? Um, so this is um, Rodney and I's Summer Love and Medley. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> thank you.
The thing that's known as romance is wonderful, wonderful in every way. So don't throw bouquets at me. Don't please my folks too much. Don't laugh at my jokes too much. I know that's really hard. You have to try. People will say we're in love. Don't sigh and gaze at me. Your sighs are so like mine. Your eyes mustn't glow like mine. People will say we're in love. Don't start collecting things. Give me my rose and my glove. It's lip gloss and Fenty. We're back. Sweetheart, they're suspecting things. People will say we're in love. Oh, I'm gonna be wounded. Oh, I'm gonna. Watching this world slip through my fist, playing with her and your fantasies. Haven't you heard the word? How I want you. I'm not talking of a her. Night. A frantic tumble, then a shy goodbye. Creeping home before it gets to light. That's not the reason that I caught your eye, which has to imply I'd be good for you. I'd be surprisingly good for you. If ever I would leave you, how could it be in summer? Seeing you in summer, I never would go. Your hair streaked with sunlight, your lips red as flame, your hair with a luster that puts gold to shame. And if I could ever leave you, how could it be in springtime? Knowing how in spring I'm bewitched by you. So, oh no, not in springtime, summer, winter, or fall. No, never would I leave you. If he walked into my life. Thank you. Fun story. Yeah. I, oh, that's so nice. Thank you, everybody. Oh. Is this better? Is this better than this? Because I feel like this is better. Because you can see that it's not a diaper, right? 
<laughs> I just want to make that very clear that I'm not wearing, not that it'd be wrong. I just, it's not the look I'm going for tonight. Um, this is really exciting. I would like to invite a legend to the stage. Everyone, please give a warm round of applause to Reeve Carney. Palpitations. Um, Reeve and I did a show called Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark, where I played one of the spiders with the stiletto shoes. Yeah, and the shoe number. Um, that was me. Um, since we haven't sung together on stage since Sunday, so why not do it again? Um, if you can guess, actually, if you can guess what we're gonna do, I will give you twenty dollars. But I'll give you three hints. It's not musical theater. It has to do with Nora Jones. Oh, oh my God. And it involves a celestial being in the title. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Someone said, what? Star Wars. Star Wars. Good try. What was that? Sunrise? Sunrise, as in sunrise, sunset. That's I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. That was from a musical. Not Sunrise. Anyone else have any guesses? $20, that's not gonna get you a lot, but we can get you something at St. Mark's Place. Okay, here we go. If you know it, I think you'll be in for a treat. Because it's, Deep oh, time. it's upside down. Okay, here we go.
being just miraculous. I mean, I watched a show for the first time on Tuesday because I wanted to see Saleya sang the house down. And I had never seen it from the house before. So Saleya, that's what, that's what her name is. Um, and I was so blown away. I've never seen the show before from the audience. And I literally was like, this is fucking incredible. And like, it's so good. <laughs> the show is so good. And what Reeve is doing, it, it literally felt like there was a light from the heavens that was just following him. And I felt like that was happening even as we were walking home. I was like, <laughs> like it's still there. It's just phenomenal. Um, I say we get right into this, except here I'm gonna tell you a little backstory <laughs> about so, what so I am so thinking while I do this next song, okay? I am imagining that I am a really, really passionate person, maybe on an acid trip, but it's up to you. I've never done that before, so I'm just imagining. Um, and I see someone on the streets of New York who I swear to God could be Jesus. <laughs> now that you're with me, now I feel like we can continue. Thank you so much. He got walrus gumbo, he got old north side board, he shoot spindle cracker, he got feet down below his knees. Hold you in his armchair, you can feel his disease come together. Over me. 
change of pace for me to sing these types of songs but it's been 10 years of dressing up like a dirty 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 well virgin turned prostitute oh urchin I thought you said virgin well it's Kim Kim and Miss Saigon was and then she wasn't very quickly it's so awkward it's like it's like she literally says, I'm 17 and I'm new here today. And then five minutes later, she's like, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Oh my gosh. Um, how many of you have never seen um, my solo shows with Rodney before? Is there, oh, really? Have you all, have you all seen a, a, a few of our shows? Is there anyone that's brand new? Oh, great. Okay, there's enough people to say. Okay, I, I, I don't want to bore any of you. Um, that's actually my worst nightmare. Uh, but, but I should share, there's some great stories that happen in theater. And one of them happened in the show, I did, a show I did called Miss Saigon. And it, what happens is my character that I played, Kim, has a, a, a three, four-year-old child. And normally those children are played, I mean, they're played by children. I don't want to make you think that they're played by anyone else but children. But um, they're like five or six, um, the kids that we hire for that part. And there's a particular scene at the end. By the way, Miss Saigon is a story. <laughs> it's a little crazy about the Vietnam War. Not really. Um, it's like through the eyes of Willy Wonka, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Uh, and what happens is she, she has a, a, a son with a GI that she falls in love with, and he goes back um, um, to America because he forgot his keys. Um, and... Uh, and then she wants to send her son Tam home with him to start a better life. And so at this part of the show, and mind you, this was a Friday night. It was one of the best shows we'd ever had. It was an incredible show. I had my agent in the audience and like a, a bunch of friends. And it was like one of those audiences where like everyone, everyone was crying. Everyone was in it together. The energy was so strong. So this scene, the, the massive scrims open. You hear, dum, bum, bum, bum. It's very intense. And we're walking down. It's the final scene. I'm very solemn. 
I'm doing a great job. Um, <laughs> and I have, I have my little son and I pull him close and we have this moment where I'm hugging him because it's our final goodbye. And I look at him and I go, now tell my brave boy, crying our long way has ended. So sad. And the whole time I'm singing to this sweet little boy, he's doing this. <laughs> like literally like, like he was, he was not trying to hide the fact that he had to go pee pee. And so me being the oldest of three, I was like, bitch, you could have chosen any, anyway, he was five, it's fine. I love him very much. And so I'm thinking we need to do something about this because it's very distracting and he has a, you know, a rest of the scene to do that's even more intense than this. So I can see that he's peeing and I, there's a, a part that we have where, um, ew, I just saw my reflection in my hair. In the, on the floor. Don't look at it, okay? If you look at it, you... Okay. Um, and so we're on the floor, and I go... And then say goodbye. And I do this thing where I was, like, trying to have the perfect tear fall. And then I'm holding him close, and the second I felt the light fade and go on the other side of the stage because there's another scene going on. I know my mic's off. And so I, I take his little head, and I go... Go ahead. <laughs> do it. Do it. And you know, it's great when kids come in and they listen to instructions because he did. He peed all over me when we were on that stage. And he went off, did the rest of the scene, and I have to go and shoot myself. <laughs> so I go behind the curtain. I go behind the curtain with the fake gun and I have to put it right on the middle of the pee pee stain and I, have to, I pull the trigger and then I go and I, I fall on the floor. And so the Chris is supposed to hear the gunshot and go, Boom, Kim, and then run over and see the body and go, Kim, what have you done, Kim? And, and you, you know, the drama continues. And this night, because of the, I mean, the pee pee stain was massive. I would say it was a good, like, foot, it was a good foot across um, on, like, silk, okay? So, uh, and so he hears a gunshot and he goes, Kim, runs over and sees me and sees the stain and goes, Kim. And he has to come up, he has to come up and like pick me up and like be romantic and he's like, he's like. What have you done, Kim? Why? Picking me up? Cause it, it's really disgusting. And so we finished the show and everything was fine. And then as soon as the curtains come down and the stage goes dark and we go off, he goes, he's British. He was like, oh, Ava, what the fuck? That's disgusting. Did you piss yourself? Did you piss yourself? Which I thought was even more ridiculous. Cause I was like, how? <laughs> we also had another evening in that same show, in that same scene, y'all. It was a great show. There was, no, there was no sanitation worries at all in this show. The normal show, he's holding my body. He's like, Kim! Yeah! Great show, end of show. Our cue as actors to leave the stage to get ready for bows is a complete blackout. So we wait for the blackout, and then we get up. I, get, I go like this, and then all of a sudden the lights come on, and I hear 1,200 people go, <gasps> because they had just watched me die. And the lights come up the second I go like this. And everyone, I'm not even kidding, they're not just like, they're like. <gasps> I had to go like this. Do it. Which I think is why I didn't win the Tony. Um. <laughs> I love this next song. <laughs> I love this next song. I've always wanted to sing it, and so I will.
to you and I see nothing I look to you to see the truth You live your life, you go in shadows You'll go alone and you'll go black Another hand It's been a pleasure, everyone. I will say that it is so crazy to me that people can sing and dance in costumes and have a good time. And I don't know. I hope that we that everyone feels good about coming here tonight. Tonight, uh, it's been such a blast. And honestly, being able to play with this incredible band is just so much fun. <laughs> And Mr. Ronnie Bush is in another band. 
an actual rock and roll band called Tony and the Kiki. And when's your next show? Sep uh, it's September 30th. September 30th at? Well, that one's in Philadelphia. Uh, <laughs> October 21st at Union Pool, Brooklyn. At Union Pool in Brooklyn. Honestly, now that, I'm, now that I'm not on doing eight shows a week, I cannot wait to go to Tony and the Kiki concert. It's gonna be lit. Um, but I think we should end out with a role that I've always wanted to play oh. in musical theater. Um, and maybe I will one day. And it'd be cool if we can get her on the pole since that happens in the movie. Anyone, anyone, Bueller? Okay, here we go. It's time for danger It says I wanna commit a crime Wanna be the cause of a fight I wanna put on a tight skirt And flirt with a stranger Thank you all for coming. Have a great life. No, not Keep seeing theater and live music. Um, take care of each other and yourselves. And once more, Zane Carney. Rodney Bush. 
Stephen Jackson Jr. on the drums. Robinson Morris on the bass. Joe's Pub, thank you, Joe's Pub. Thank you, Jonathan, mixing the show tonight. Jeanne, doing lights, thank you all so much. We're gonna leave you with one more, no doubt. And don't, no doubt, okay? Oh, I love whoever just did that.
Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, it's incredible.